Hey guys, I'm Vice here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be recapping the Apple WWDC keynote that just happened. So, the keynote started with a video, and I had some few words with animations, um, and Typico came out. And this is the 24th WWDC, and this is the longest running, uh, this is the longest running any kind of developer worldwide conference. And if you see me looking down, I am looking at some notes. This is, uh, so there's some Apple Store updates, there's this really cool Apple Store, and there's also this Anki thing where it uses artificial intelligence. And so now, let's go to the map. So, they teased us with c line and they were like, no. They're gonna call it Mac OS X uh, Marvix, or I, I don't even know how to say it. So there's not there's new Finder tab. You can now add tags, and there's also multiple display things. So if you put something full screen, it doesn't it doesn't do anything to any of the other displays, and it works with just that one display. Um, also, there's better battery life in this. Uh, there's better memory, and there's also a better Safari. And that better Safari, um, it also it has new features. Um, and there's also iCloud Keychain, and what iCloud Keychain is, is it syncs all of your passwords together, and it also syncs all of your credit card things together, so you don't have to type in all of the credit cards, you don't have to get your credit card out, so I think that's pretty cool. There's also a new notification banner thing, so you can reply or answer a FaceTime call right from the notification right there, so you don't have to go and wait till it. And there's also a new calendar app, it looks a lot like the iOS 7 app, and, or the iOS app, and it looks really cool. Uh, also, there's a new I, there's now iBooks on it, so it syncs with it with it syncs with your library on your other devices. So I think it's pretty cool, and I think that oh yeah, and the Dellvel preview is t t coming today, and there's it's all it's coming this fall. So there's now a new MacBook Air. Now it's not really new; it's just really a spec upgrade. There's better battery life as a fourth gen CPU, which is more efficient. It has eight eight hundred two point eleven AC, and there's also with that there's a new Airport Extreme, which is pretty cool, and one hundred twenty eight gigabytes for eleven inch starts at a uh, nine ninety nine, which is a great price. And I think 64 gigabytes was a little bit too low, so this is great. So now, so they show us a little bit of a sneak preview on the Mac Pro, and it has amazing cylinder design. Uh, it has a new Xeon 12 core, two, which is two times as fast. It also has RAM ECC, which is two times as fast as the other one. And it also has PCI Flash, which is uh, which is uh, uh, 1.2 gigabits, and it's 2.5 times faster. And also the expansion is external like the other one. Thunderbolt 2 is compatible with Thunderbolt 1. Yes, they did announce Thunderbolt 2, which is really cool. Also, there's a graphics dual, uh, which is, there is also a graphics dual, most likely SLI, which is 2.5 uh, times faster than, and it also supports 4K displays, which is really, really cool. I don't think really anybody's going to be using 4K displays with their Mac Pro. Um, which I think is pretty cool. It's also an 8 smaller and it's coming out later this year and it is assembled in the USA So that's cool. So some new things with iCloud. It, ha it has a new logo as you can see and it, there's I also iCloud for iWork So you can just go on the website and have iCloud right there So iOS 7 has a completely new look. Uh, it has new icons, a completely new icons. They, there's control center You just want to swipe from the bottom like opening the settings app. There's like you can turn the brightness and everything Multitasking is new. It kind of looks like Windows 7 or Windows uh, Windows Phone where the multicasting where you can go through, but you can, but it always runs out. Um, there's better battery life. It always runs in the background. As far as a new look, and it also uses iTunes Keychain or sorry, iCloud Keychain. And also there's AirDrop, which has obviously the new things. There's AirDrop where you can do it. The new camera also has a new look, and there's new camera organization. There's a new Siri voice command. Can you turn out my brightness? And uh, there's also a new app store look, new categories. They update automatically, which I think is really cool. And there's also new music. Uh, pictures with the artists. There's also a new now playing screen, and there's iTunes media, and there's iTunes radio stations, which is really cool because iTunes radio is something that um, where you can get you can listen to songs. It's uh, it's free with ads, but if you're iTunes Match customer, you get it for free. So that's my recap of the video. I know this is really fast. I try to make it as fast as possible, and also this doesn't have any pictures in it because I want to get you guys to this as fast as possible. Um, I think I I might have added an iOS thing and what uh, uh, Mac OS uh, or with the um, the the Mac Pro looks like because I didn't want to see want to see show you guys that so or maybe this just has pictures throughout the thing so anyway guys if you guys like this video make sure to give it a like if you guys want to subscribe for more recaps definitely go ahead and subscribe up there and I'll see you guys in my next video so goodbye.